everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, check this out. This is a 124 scale RC crawler. So crawler means it can go over rocks, anything. It can climb over everything. But here's the cool thing I wanna show you about it. I've got it in a type of four wheel drive now that's gonna allow me to, I've just gone up the ramp, to turn around on the pillow. So watch this and then come back down. So all four wheels are actually going to maneuver and turn. I'll show you that in a bit. So here we go. I'm just gonna do one of my little uh, turning things. I'll try to keep it in the camera and tight spaces there we go that was a three-point turn and i can come down and go over everything so let me tell you about this baby all right so this little baby here i got it going it is pretty darn sweet now let me tell you the backstory on why i have this and reviewing it on my captain drone channel so a lot of you asked me for rc cars that are under 100 dollars. so i went to banggood and i said hey banggood can you send me the most popular RC car you have that's under $100? And they sent me this one. This is called the Devastator Rock Crawler. Now, this thing's been on the market for about two years. So yeah, that's why I'm reviewing it now. So I'm gonna do a really quick review on it and I can see why it's the most popular RC car, four wheel drive, rock crawler, under a hundred bucks. So I've been driving this for about a week, just around the house and out in the backyard. My wife is like, why the heck are you driving that little car around? Anyways, uh, yeah, because it's so simple and it goes for an awfully long time. So let me look at my specs here. I already mentioned it's four wheel drive and I'm gonna show you, it's got four different driving modes, which is pretty sweet. You can get out of any situation you can think of. You're not gonna get this stuck unless you get hung up on a rock underneath. So looking down, down here uh, apparently the specs say it has ball bearings so you know it's not just like plastic and on plastic there's actual ball bearings so this thing here that's why it's so quiet and it will ride nicely what else it does come with the battery inside there's a 7.4 light pole battery built in that's the plus and i like the way you charge it you just plug a little cable in the side and plug it into usb and it charges up and your on and off switch is on the side that's the plus the bad is that since the battery's in there you're gonna have to disassemble everything if you want to take that battery out and replace it. I don't think you'll ever have to because LiPo batteries, you know, you can charge them hundreds and hundreds of times. So this one should be fine too. What else do I have? It's water resistant. Yes, I have driven it in the snow and the water. No problem there. It's got suspension. Can you see it down here? Let me get it in the frame. Watch. Lots of suspension. And when you see it drive outside, it's bouncing around all over the place. It's really good for that. I did mention already there's a metal frame. It's aluminum. The entire frame is aluminum. Let me take off the top here, uh, pull out the four clips. I wanna show you the frame because I actually think it looks cooler without the top on. Check this out. Like you can take these little four little posts off as well. But look at that, it looks like, it looks like a buggy. Let me bring that close. Check that out. Doesn't that look pretty cool? Like mine's really dirty, but as the metal frame buggy, it looks pretty darn sweet. Even the remote control. The remote control is different than a lot of remotes on the market because this remote actually has to have the four modes to allow this to drive in four different modes. So on the top, you have all these little lights that go across the top. You can't see them out in the daylight, but indoors you can see it. It turns red. Here, let me bring it close and show you. That's the settings on the remote. And if you look at the very top, you see four pictures of the actual car. That's your four steering modes. And each time you're in a different mode, a red light will appear under the mode and tell you which mode you're in. Probably one of the reasons this is very popular is because all the parts are available online. So if you break something, the parts are available online. But let me tell you this. In the world of RC cars, if you have a race car that goes like uh, 100 miles an hour, you're gonna break it the first day. A crawler, not too many people ever break parts on crawlers. So even though there's parts available, you're probably never gonna need any parts because crawlers, they're crawlers. They don't break. You can't smash them into anything. You know, full blast is like, here, I've got it on. Watch this. This is full blast. Can I get in the picture? Here we go. It's not very fast. Let's, let's put it over here. It's gotta go up this thing. That's full blast. <laughs> So you can see you're not gonna break anything. And the other cool thing about this is how long you can drive for. So it's rated at about an hour. It can drive an hour for about an hour on the battery. If you drive it like a rock crawler, you know, like you're going slow and stopping and going backwards and trying to control around certain things, you know, there's a lot of start and stop so the battery lasts longer. But if you're driving full blast, 
It might only last for about 30 minutes. I have not checked out how long the battery lasts, but when I filmed the review of all the footage outside, I was outside with this for over 30 minutes driving around and the battery was still good driving on grass, snow, through water. So it does last. All right, let me show you the four steering modes on here. There's a button in the center of your remote. You just press it and it goes from mode to mode to mode. So let me show you a video and I'll talk over the video. So here we have it. And you can see when I put it in the first mode, we have front wheel steering. Only the front wheels, just like your normal family car, front wheel steering. Then the mode I love the best is your front and rear wheel steering, which are opposite of each other. That's my favorite. That's what you saw at the beginning of this video. Then after that, you have front and rear wheel steering. That's the same. I call it the crab movement. And the last one is the rear wheel steering, which, uh, yeah, I didn't really use a rear wheel that much. My favorite is the second one, which is like both front and rear. Both servos turn opposite of each other, so you can make tight, tight corners. All right, so what I want to show you next is the Devastator driving out my backyard through snow, through water, with a little bit of music montage. Very, very short. Maybe a minute's worth of video, two minutes worth of video and then come back to me I'll show you what you get in the box and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this baby so check this out Now your favorite part of the video is what comes in the box if you buy this. This is really quick and I'm just going to keep on talking and show you a video as I show you what comes in the box. So here you go. This is the box. Here are the features on the side of the box. Inside the box you get the manual which has instructions and the parts list just in case you need parts. You also get decals. I've stuck some on my truck already. That's why it says Devastator everywhere. You get the radio controller and you will require three AA batteries to power it. You get the USB charger that you're going to plug in the side of the truck and of course you get the the Devastator. This one here looks shiny new because it hasn't been driven in the mud like the one in front of me has. And this is the plug that you receive, the USB charger. You're going to plug that in the side of the truck to charge it up. And after it's fully charged, there's a power button right here. Just press that and you're ready to go. And that's it, guys. You're back to me. So I'm going to put links below. Go check out this little truck. If you want a crawler that's different from every other crawler on the planet, you know, with all those modes of different ways of driving and made out of aluminum, well, this is the one to get for very little money. And it doesn't weigh very much. And it's very durable. I have dropped this all over the place and it is pretty decent. All right, guys, if you have any questions on the Devastator, post them below and I will get back to you. And more importantly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in future videos with many more reviews. Take care.